Today is gonna be my last day working at Google. I'm just sitting in my car with my Google sweatshirt on. I'll be handing in my badge in just a minute and be leaving Google forever. Well, who knows, maybe I'll be back, but let's see. So long, Google. I had just had breakfast and then just, you know, returned my stuff and it was definitely a noticeably different atmosphere in there today, as you can expect. Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So let me explain what happened, why I left, and what's next for me. The clip I just showed you is from January 20th. It's the same day that Google announced layoffs, and that's the reason like the atmosphere was a little bit different in the office that day. Now, I had actually submitted my two weeks prior to that, so the fact that my last day was also on January 20th was just a coincidence. And it's actually funny, the day before that, my skip actually told me that I could come back anytime I wanted to, but I'm not sure if that offer still stands. I didn't know it that day, but I later found out that no one on my team had actually been affected. So I was happy about that, but I'm sorry to anyone who actually was impacted. But I'm glad to see that things have gotten better since then. And if I had to guess, I would say that over the next 6 to 12 months, hiring is probably going to pick back up. Now, why did I leave? Well, I guess I'm just addicted to unemployment. But in seriousness, those of you who've been following me from the early days know that I didn't have a job for a long time. And during the pandemic, Google is literally the only company that even gave me an interview, which is so hard to believe because Google was literally my dream job for such a long time. It was the reason I even decided to study computer science. And trust me, I know how cliche it is for YouTubers to like build up these big tech jobs and then just leave them to focus on their YouTube channels. But it really was a hard decision for me to make not just because of you know the money or the benefits and things like that, but I think I grew a lot as a person, as an engineer, as like a problem solver, and I really owe that to the colleagues that I had. Don't get me wrong, everyone at Google is really smart, but most people are nothing special in my opinion. But there are a few people that I worked closely with and they were just head and shoulders above everyone else. They were just on another level. And I honestly think meeting and working with them will probably impact me for the rest of my life. Now, let me be a little more specific. And I know this is going to be hard to believe, but I genuinely enjoy making leak code videos much more than I do working at Google. Like just a few days ago, I finished a 30 day challenge on my second channel where I was uploading like two videos a day. And most of them weren't even getting that many views. Like I do it just to be consistent, just because I enjoy doing that. I feel like if I had to upload leak code videos every single day for the rest of my life, like I could do that. And I think most people probably feel the opposite. Like they just do leak code just to get into a company so they never have to do it again. I guess I'm a little bit crazy, but I don't mind because things have worked out for me a lot better than I had imagined. And by that, I mean the channel has just gotten a lot more popular than I ever would have expected. And so I was faced with two choices. I could either continue in my career, try to be the best engineer I can be, try to get to like the next level, try to get to senior, or I could take like a calculated risk and lean into my YouTube channel, which was even more risky in January because that's kind of when the layoffs were at their peak. But I felt like this was an opportunity that wasn't gonna be here forever. So I wanted to roll the dice and I'm the type of person that really doesn't mind taking calculated risks. I mean, how do you think I ended up unemployed in the first place? And I know some people are going to say, well, you sucked as an engineer, so now you're just going to do YouTube and sell courses or whatever. So allow me to just humble brag for two seconds and just say I wasn't like a bad engineer. I actually got promoted after one year. Now, was it deserved? I don't know, but I still did it. So I do think I had a pretty good career trajectory at Google. I think I could have gotten to senior after like another two to three years. But that brings me to what's next for me. And that is that over the next six to 12 months, I'm just gonna go really hard into YouTube and into my website. And by hard, I mean, I'm not gonna take like a single day off, not because I have to, but because I want to. I literally wake up and love what I do every single day. And one thing to know about me is that I'm kind of a control freak and I can't control how much money I'm gonna make. I can't control how many views I'm gonna get, but I can control how hard I work every single day. I can control the amount of effort I put in and how consistent I am. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And after that, I have no idea. Maybe I'll do a startup or do YC Combinator. Feel free to pitch me if you want. My email isn't hard to find. But my goal isn't to like become a salesman. I definitely want to continue to do technical work. That's what I really love doing. So I wouldn't be surprised if I joined another company at some point. But to wrap it up, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a 24-hour leak code stream. So I'll see you there. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again